the president of the United States, while this filthy Congress is is out on its uh, whatever the hell it's doing on its uh, August break, the president of the United States ought to sit down with some real advisors. Just just pay him by the hour, for Christ's sake. I'm sure Stiglitz and Krugman would love to come in and consult with Mr. Obama for $100 an hour, right? Okay, you bring these two guys in and a couple more. Nobody connected with this, uh, this uh, administration. And they work out a jobs program that offers something in each of 435 congressional districts. Uh, bridge repair, uh, dam repair, railroad beds, um, um, the decaying school structures. Um, I, I mean, the list just goes on and on. Road beds, interstate highway uh, repair, a secondary road repair. I mean, that two or three trillion dollars worth of of infrastructure uh, that absolutely needs to be taken care of yesterday, according to the American U.S. Society of Engineers or American Society of Engineers, whichever one it is. Uh, they put that report out, what, a year ago? And what's been done? Nothing. Anyway. Obama draws this up, 435 congressional districts in this country. And Obama targets each one of those districts with a jobs program. And each one of those districts, uh, let's say, oh, I don't know, uh, a 1,000 jobs in each one. That's only uh, 435,000 jobs. So it would be much more than that when you consider the ripple effect. But just start any place, 10,000 jobs, 100,000 jobs, whatever, in each district, and show how it can be done. And then when Congress comes back, Obama asks for prime time. He goes on television. He says, here's my jobs program. Here's how it will affect every single district in this country, every single congressional district. If you're in the 4th District in Georgia, here are the jobs that I'm suggesting. Here is the pay, paychecks it'll generate. Here is the tax revenue it'll generate. Here are the residual businesses uh, or the ripple effect that it will affect the restaurants and dry cleaners and, 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 and all sorts of businesses in your communities. Here it is. All we need is funding. Yeah, deficit funding from the Congress. And here's how long it'll take before tax revenue generates enough money to pay it all off. And put it out there. And then demand that the Republicans say no. Make every single Republican say no to the jobs and the revenue and the improvement in his or her personal district. Put it out there, Mr. President. Then let these evil sons of bitches turn it down and watch America finally take to the streets. It just seems to me that that's a very simple solution. Show the jobs plan in each of 435 congressional districts and then dare the Republicans to vote against it. But, of course, Barack Obama won't do that because Barack Obama, first of all, is um, he, he's not a progressive. He's not a Democrat. He's not a leader. He is what he is. He is um, he's there to maintain the status quo, the casino capitalism. And that's, by God, what he is going to do.